you for joining in for this Saturday morning slow flow. Um, this is actually for the transformational challenge that I'm hosting um, right now. So it will be a slow flow, um, full body for the most part, and we will uh, go for probably about 30 to 40 minutes. Um, I have a blanket with me that's more just for moral support and I might take a nice Shavasana later. Um, but if you do have a block at home, you may want to use that for today's practice. So if you have something even similar to a block, a book or whatever next to you, you could go ahead and grab that now. Um, remembering that you are at home, so take care of yourself, take care of your body. Um, I cannot feel what's going on in your body. so. If something doesn't feel good, please feel free to take it out. You can always take a child's pose or a downward facing dog or any other modifications um, that you may need for the practice. Okay, well, when you get your block or book or whatever that is ready, um, not necessary, but it is nice to have, go ahead and grab that block and sit the hips onto the block so that you're elevating it above the knees, elevating the hips above the knees. Take a moment here to settle in for me get my pants pulled up a little bit <laughs> there we go okay and bring the hand palms facing down onto the knees for more of a grounding energy or you could bring them palms facing up if you'd like a little bit more receiving today rolling the shoulders up towards the ears and then gently roll it down the back closing the eyes if they are not already there Keeping the eyes closed for the next few, minute, few minutes here and bring some more focus to the breath. Relax your jaw. As you breathe in, Notice the feeling of the air passing through the nostrils. Big, nice breath, sending it all the way down into the belly. And then exhale, gently sigh it out. One more just like that, breathing in. Feel the air pass through the nose, opening through the chest, bring it all the way into the belly. And then exhale, gently sigh it out, relax the shoulders away from the ears. Do one more just like that, breathing in through the nose. Feel the lungs, the diaphragm expand, and then exhale, softly sigh it out. Maybe you have a soft smile to the face as well. The eyes close and now bring those inhalations and exhalations through the nose. Focusing on each inhale, filling the belly, the ribs, opening through the chest. And exhale through the nose as you pull the navel towards the spine. Slightly constricting the back of the throat, finding a yogic breath, sounds similar to the ocean waves. Now kindfully setting an intention for your practice. First week of our six week challenge. So setting that intention Finding stillness here through your yoga practice. Throughout this flow, if the muscles are, or the mind is kind of wanting to get out, go ahead and bring the focus back to your breath and find that stillness in the body. And in that stillness, 
find a deep, nice stretch and sensation run through the body. Taking one more deep inhale. As you exhale, gently bringing the chin down towards the chest. Blink the eyes open. If the palms are facing up, go ahead and bring the palms facing down onto the knees. And just start to round through the back. So pressing the back away from you, shoulders towards the chest, chin towards the chest. And then as you exhale, slowly start to roll it forward. So this is really similar to a seated cat-cow. Pressing the chest forward, and then as you exhale, round it in, chin towards the chest. You could have the eyes open with a soft gaze on an exhale, lift it up, or inhale, excuse me. Find a soft gaze, or you could even close the eyes, noticing, again, those sensations in the body. We'll do that a couple of more times. Rounding it in, starting to find your own flow. We'll go ahead and knee back at center and then take the opposite ankle in front. So just switching it out, we'll even it out a little bit here. Bringing the palms back down to the knees. This may feel quite different um, for me on the left side. And then when you're ready, exhale, round it in, chin towards the chest, rolling it out. Inhale, press the chest towards the sky. Shoulders squeeze together behind you. And then exhale, round it in. Do that two more times. Inhale, lift the chest, maybe a little higher. Gaze comes towards the sky. Exhale, round it in. Eventually making your way back to center here. Go ahead and press the left knee down towards the earth and then just kind of slightly take it over towards the right. And then bring it forward, a really soft, slow motion and then take it to the opposite side, pressing the right knee down, slightly over the left. Do that one more time each way, a little faster this time, taking it over to the right, press the left down, and then coming back around, pressing the right down, take the body to the left. Go ahead and come back to center. You can remove that block from underneath you. Taking it to the side, we might use that again in, the mo in a moment and then bring it onto the hands and knees. However it is that you get there is fine. Just remembering to spread the fingertips wide. Hips are directly over the knees. Gaze slightly in front of the hands. Pull the navel towards the spine. So it's this really flat back, just like you have a tray of glasses or a tray of drinks on the body. Finding this stillness, pressing the tops of the feet in towards the earth. And then when you're ready, take the hips down towards the heels, bend through the elbows, the forearms may even come down to the mat, and then gently roll it forward, belly towards the ground, pressing up into this cow. And then slightly leaning forward, round through the spine, chin towards the chest, and then keep that rounding as you take it down towards the heels. And take that rolling motion two more times at your own pace, bringing it up into your cow. From your cow, lean forward, round it in. Keeping the breath, taking the hips towards the heels. Inhale, lifting it up, find this yoga dance here. Exhale, round it in, take it back. Then we'll meet back into the tabletop, tucking the toes under, lift the knees to the hover, Tuck the toes under a little bit more and then lower the knees back down towards the mat. And this time press the hips towards the heels. And then find your cat, rounding up, keeping the chin towards the chest. Toes tucked under, gaze slightly forward. And then take it into your cow, chest forward, belly towards the ground. Keeping that as you bring the hips towards the heels. So going into an opposite direction here two more times, finding your cat. Really slow motion, staying with your breath, and finding your cow as you press the hips back towards the heels. One more at your own pace, your own dance. Okay. 
and then slowly coming back to center keep the toes tucked under lift the knees to a hover gaze slightly forward and then when you're ready keeping a bend in the knees take it back into your first downward facing dog so the more you bend through the knees the more you'll release the lower back take your time to get here it might be your first one of the day or the week ears are in line with this tricep so notice if you're holding the shoulders up towards the ears if you believe so Press into the palms, roll the shoulders down the back, and then you can start to pedal out the feet walking your dog. Take it really slow or any other movements. You want to come onto the toes, one heel, one heel. Any movements that are going to feel good for you and your body as you're waking up this down dog. Rolling the shoulders back, taking a scan of the body. Deep inhale into the belly, lift the hips towards the sky. And then exhale, press the chest towards the sides. Inhale, gaze forward in between the hands and as slowly as you can, really conscious, mindful steps, walk the feet forward to meet the hands in a forward fold. You could always keep a bend in your knees, walking towards the front of the mat. So often people will start to walk their hands back to meet the feet. The whole point is to walk the feet to the front of the mat so again, if that means you need to put a really nice big bend in the knees, then go for it. You can press the toes up towards the sky, roll forward and back onto the heels, the toe mound. And then coming into stillness, spreading the toes wide, feet are hip width apart, leaning forward into the toes, taking the weight out of the heels, you can kind of roll the shoulders out. You want to bend one knee, straighten the other, kind of take it from side to side, noticing how these small little micro movements make such a difference in the sensation through the body. Coming back to stillness, you can keep the bend in your knees, clasp each elbow, finding a rag, rag doll, shake it from side to side. Deep breaths into the belly, you'll feel an expansion in the hips and the glutes. And then exhale, you can take the crown of the head towards the earth, start to shake the head yes, shake it no, little circles in one direction, take it into the opposite direction. Just allowing gravity to take over. Then go ahead and bring the hands back down towards the mat, bend in the knees if it's not already there. Slowly, slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time, bringing the shoulders up towards the ears, all the way down the back, palms facing forward, close the eyes. Reach the arms up overhead, palms together, gaze up towards the thumbs, and then exhale, bringing the hands down to heart center. And keeping the eyes closed, bringing that intention of stillness back into your practice. Deep breath in, exhale, let it go. And you can open your eyes, go ahead and take the hands towards the lower back, fingertips down towards the feet. So you're really taking your hands towards the sacrum more so. Squeeze the elbows together, slight bend in the knees, lift the chest up towards the sky. Keeping the bend in the knees as you exhale, start to bring the chest down towards the thighs. You can reach the hands towards the ground. Inhale, slowly roll it up. Shoulders down the back, arms to the lower back, lift the chest forward. We're keeping that rolling motion. Bend through the knees, lower it down, chest towards the thighs. Inhale, roll it up. We'll do that one more time. You can take your own flow, find your own dance. And then coming all the way back up towards standing to standing. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, dive forward, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. <clears throat> Exhale, fold, stepping the left foot back, finding your runner's lunge. Take your time to get here. Notice if the left hip is lifted, go ahead and press it down towards the right. Right knee over the ankle. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forehead to knee. <coughs> Inhale, gaze forward. Go ahead and lower the left leg or the left knee down. Untuck the toes. Inhale, both arms up towards the sky. Drop the shoulders down the back. <coughs> you should feel this really nice in the left hip flexor. Excuse me. Inhale, gaze up towards the sky. Exhale, little back bend. 
Inhale back to center, plant the hands, tuck the left toes under, finding your runner's lunge. Now take the left hand to the inside of the right foot, gently start to walk the right foot to the outside of the right fingertips, finding a somewhat variation of a lizard here. You can rock it forward and back. Then go ahead and drop the left knee once more. Take the right hand, press the right knee away from the body. You can gaze up towards the sky or even down towards the right corner of the mat for three full cycle breaths. One more inhale. Exhale. I'm bringing the right hand to the inside of the foot. Go ahead and turn those right toes towards the outside of the right mat. You're going to roll over onto the right foot, lifting the hip. So you're in this twisted lunge. If that's super uncomfortable, you can start to walk the right foot back, coming more towards the midline. Lift the hips high, bringing the right arm up, and then taking the bicep towards the ear, reach it forward, palm down towards the sky. Inhale, reach. As you exhale, start to drop the left hip down, and just like a blade cutting through ice, take the right hand all the way back, the gaze will follow. Inhale, lift it up, arm forward. Exhale, hips down, arm back. Inhale, lift it up. And exhale, take it back. Last time, inhale, reach. Go ahead and plant the right hand. Finding your runner's lunge. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forehead to knee. Inhale, gaze forward. And now start to walk the hands towards the left taking some ninja lunges. So a wide-legged forward fold, and then you can take it down towards the left. Bring it over towards the right. If this is super uncomfortable, you can just keep a bend in the knees and take it from side to side. So finding it's your little flow here. You can have the hands at heart center. And then eventually we're gonna make our way all the way into a side lunge on the left side. Sorry, you'll get me on the next side here. If this is super uncomfortable, we're gonna stay for about five breaths. You can take that block underneath the hip, getting it all the way down. Close your eyes for three, two, one more breath, inhale. Exhale, let all that go. You plant the hands. If you have your block, remove it to the side. Start to walk the hands towards the left foot, finding a lunge on the left side. Plant the hands, step the left foot back, high plank. Gaze forward, inhale. Exhale, drop the knees, keeping the hips lifted. Slowly lower it down. Chest meets the mat, chin follow. Go ahead and roll it all the way down, allowing the belly to meet the mat. Untuck the toes. Inhale, lift it up into a baby cobra. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, lower. One more. Inhale, lift it up. And exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift it up. You can come back onto the knees. Tuck the toes under, finding a downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale the right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, open it up, stacking hip over hip. And then you can bend through the knee, bring the heel towards the glute. Pressing the right shoulder back. Maybe you can gaze under the left armpit, looking for the toe or the heel. You want to roll out the knee or the ankle. Any movements that are going to feel good for you as you open up the hip in this three-legged dog. And then inhale, slowly coming back to center, keeping the leg lifted, and then gently lower the right foot down to meet the left. Coming onto the tippy toe, slowly roll forward, finding your high plank, and then drop the knees down towards the mat. Walk the hands all the way out for a puppy pose. You can keep the toes tucked or untuck them. Hips stay over the knees, and you can gently bring the forehead to the mat, maybe the chin. Closing your eyes. We will stay here for several breaths. You inhale, think about your wingspan or the lats opening up through the top of the back. 
And then exhale, press the chest towards the earth, getting more into the shoulder girdle. Finding your intention of stillness here for three more full cycle breaths. Inhale into the belly. Exhale, melting in. Two. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale. And then slowly, slowly start to walk the hands back just a little bit and then come onto the elbows. And slowly start to slide the feet all the way back, hips down, finding a sphinx pose. The shoulders are pretty much over the elbows, maybe slightly behind. Relax the glutes and use the fingertips to really press the sternum forward, rolling the shoulders down. And a nice back bend here in the lumbar spine. Feels really good on my shoulders after that first week of the transformational challenge. Now you can have the option to stay here or take the hands out towards the corner of the mat and then lift the elbows up coming into a seal pose for three, two, one more breath, inhale. And then exhale, slowly lower it down, bringing the hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes under, you could come to the knees or lift up into a high plank, inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Bend one knee, bend the other. And as you're ready, looking forward in between the hands, slowly start to walk the feet up all the way to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, bringing the hands to the shin. And then exhale, fold, allow the crown of the head to rest towards the earth. Two more like that. Inhale, halfway lift, leaning forward slightly. Exhale, folding down. One more. Inhale, lift it up. And exhale, fold. Putting a slight bend in the knees, slowly roll it up one vertebra at a time. Shoulders towards the ears, roll it down the back, closing the eyes. Finding all four corners of the feet, finding your natural rhythm of breath. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead, gaze towards the thumbs. Exhale, dive forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, stepping the right foot back, find your runner's lunge. You can kind of wiggle back and forth, just bend the hips towards the earth. Finding a place of stillness and comfort. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forehead to knee. Inhale, gaze forward, dropping the right knee towards the earth. Untuck the toes. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, descend the hips down. Finding your right hip flexor, wherever that may be for you. Inhale, lift it up. Gaze up. Exhale, baby back bend. And then inhale, coming back to center, plant the hands, tucking the right toes under, start to heel toe the left foot to the outer edge of the mat. You can come forward and back, opening through the left side. Go ahead and drop the right knee down, right hands on the earth, pressing the left knee away from the body. Gaze at the sky over the shoulder, or if it's a little much on the neck, you can always gaze towards the left corner of the mat. Roll onto the outer edge of the foot for three. Deep breaths. Two. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly start to take the right, or the, excuse me, the left toes to the outside of the mat. So rearranging any way you need to here. Rolling onto the outer edge of the right foot. I have this little butterfly moth here. And then inhale, lift the hips up. Left arm goes up towards the sky, then reach it forward, palm facing down, press the hips forward. Inhale, and then exhale, just like a blade, lower the right hip down, the left arm comes back. Inhale, lift it up, lengthen, exhale, lower it down. Oh, it feels so good in the right hip, the right IT. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. 
and then inhale, lift it up, start to walk towards the back of the mat or towards the right, finding your ninja lunges. Going from side to side, and then as you're ready, bring it over onto the right side. If you have your block, you could place a block underneath the hip, hands could come to the heart. For three, two, this is one of my harder poses, I have to tell the truth there, last one, inhale. And then as you exhale, plant the hands, start to walk the hands towards the right foot. Go ahead and step it back, high plank. Inhale, you have the option to drop the knees or lower down chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll it back, downward facing dog. Lift the left leg up towards the sky, finding a three-legged dog, open it up the hip, and then bring the heel towards the glutes, gaze under the right shoulder, press the left shoulder down. If you want to make any movement here, again, you can roll out the knee. It's the biggest joint in the body there. Roll out the ankle, eventually coming back into your three-legged dog, toes facing down, inhale, exhale, lower the left foot down to meet the right. Inhale, coming onto the tippy toes, roll forward, finding your high plank, and then go ahead and drop the knees down towards the earth, toes tucked or untucked, Walk it forward, finding your puppy pose. Close your eyes here, coming back to your breath. Inhale, fill the belly up. Notice the expansion through the shoulder blades. And then exhale, press the chest a little closer towards the mat. For three, two, One more breath, inhale, exhale. And then inhale, slowly start to walk the hands back, finding the forearms onto the mat. This time taking the shoulders over the elbows, spread the fingertips wide and then step the right foot back, step the left foot back, finding a low plank for three. Lift the hips, two, coming onto the toes. One more, inhale. And then as you exhale, slowly lower the hips down towards the ears, untuck the toes, finding a sphinx pose. Shoulders away from the ears, pressing the chest, the sternum forward. And then exhale, bring the chin down towards the chest. For again, three. Finding some stillness, finding some rhythm. Two. One more inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and tuck those toes under once more. Last part of core here. Lift it up, low plank. This time for five, four, three, two, and one. We can go ahead and drop the knees down towards the earth. Start to walk. The hands back, hips sit down onto the heels. Taking a moment here, getting a little sweaty, bringing the hands to the heart center. Slightly bow the chin. Inhale. Finding a moment of peace, moment of stillness. Finding the stillness through each deep inhalation and exhalation. Relax the face. And then you can just drop the hips over to one side. Extend both legs out in front of you, preparing for a butterfly pose. So go ahead and bring the soles of the feet together. We're gonna do two different variations here. So for this variation, bringing the heels as close to the hips as possible. The thumb comes to the pad of the foot. You can open the foot slightly like a book. Press the knees towards the earth. This is one option. Another option, if this is super uncomfortable and you can't quite get that, go ahead and take the hands behind the hips. 
fingertips facing back and just like press the chest forward and it allows the knees to follow. Another variation. If you find some stillness and peace here, take a deep breath in, find length through the back body and then exhale, slowly, gently start to come forward, gazing slightly in front of the toes, pressing the, the calves, the knees down towards the earth. Allow the elbows to lift the chin. And come back to your breath. Inhale, notice length coming into the back body, opening through the front. And then exhale, take it a little bit deeper. Two more breaths. And start to walk it back keeping the feet together, but taking them a little bit farther out in front of you. So now you're creating more of a diamond shape. We're gonna switch the sensation to the outside of the hip. So we were on the inside, now we're going to the outside. Finding stillness here, you can roll it out. You don't need to think so much about the alignment. Deep breath in, and then exhale, just drop the forehead towards the heels. You can take the hands around the front of the toes, or you could take the forearms underneath the shins. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Breathe into the hips. Consciously send that fresh oxygen to the outer hip, the lower back. And then exhale, bring the forehead towards the knee, towards the heels. Now just breathe. Breathe into your body. Notice where you feel this. Notice the longer the breath, the more you may feel. Two more. forward so the heels are at the top of the mat and then as you're ready you can roll it all the way down taking one full cycle breath when you find the earth then hugging both knees in towards the chest a nice squeeze here squeezing the knees together you can rock it from side to side might even feel good to make little circles around the lower back. If you are making those circles, go ahead and take it into the opposite direction. And then crossing the right ankle over the left knee, pressing the right knee away from the body, interlace the hands behind the thigh. And then go ahead and squeeze it in for your figure four. Flexing through the right foot. If it feels good, you could use your elbow to help you press the right knee or thigh away, or even take the right hand and just twist the knee away from the body. For three, two, one more, inhale, exhale, squeeze it in. And you can go ahead and lower the left foot down towards the mat, arms out to a T, inhale, and then exhale, drop the right foot over towards the left. So the right knee will be facing up towards the sky. Little easy twist here for three. Two. One more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, slowly bring it back to center. Go ahead and unwind and switch it out. Left ankle over the right knee, squeeze it in, interlace the hands behind the thigh, press the left knee away from the body. 
flexing through the left foot. Breathing into the left hip, pressing both hip bones towards the earth. the right foot down, arms out somewhat to a T, inhale, exhale, taking the left foot to the outside of the mat, knee towards the sky. Finding some relaxation here, relax all the muscles. Inhale, slowly come back to center. Unwind, hug the knees in again, but this time out wide towards the armpit. You can just kind of like a dead bug, shake it from side to side, see how that feels. Bringing the thigh towards the side body. Coming back to stillness, squeeze the knees in together towards the chest, and then take the feet towards the earth, making little circles. Taking the knees back out all the way out towards the armpits, in together at the chest, lower it down. So two more times at your own pace, whatever it is that feels good to you to close it in here. And then take it into the opposite direction, hug the knees towards the chest line, and then take it out towards the armpits, and out wide. Really slow and controlled. Squeeze it in, bring the forehead up towards the knees, give yourself a hug, closing the eyes. If you want to give one knee a kiss, if that's accessible, give the other some self-love to the body for coming to your mat today. And then as you exhale, slowly lower it all the way down, finding your Shavasana. If you have a blanket or bolster, you can take that option placing it underneath the knees. Feet out wide, palms up towards the sky, wiggling in, allowing yourself to take up this full area, all of your space. And keeping the eyes closed. Relax the jaw, relax the face. Coming back to a natural rhythm of breath. Soft smile to the face to allow the nervous system to take in the benefits of this ancient practice. to stay here as long as you'd like. Taking in this stillness, this practice, this form of self-love. divine light in me honors the divine light in you. Namaste.